Welcome to a quite interesting set from Pogo. Here are a bunch of, I suppose, leftovers, randoms. I'm guessing that they were trying to rush this off just before Chinese New Year. Just like, here's a bunch of figures, what do you have? Quick, get them out. Because once Chinese New Year happens, all the factories are on holiday. So they won't be able to get anything out. So they thought, hey, let's just get out. So starting from the left, we have another version of Jason Voorhees. And then we have um, Hatsu Miku. Uh, she is the digitally computer generated singer, uh, both like physically and voice she's quite popular for some reason like fully digital um and everything so it's kind of weird it's like you go to see a concert she's a laser show okay even the voice is like uh, i think the voice is also digital like it's just like entirely created so yeah and then we have the modified alien which we've already seen in the xenomorph pack reviews so i'm not going to go into detail on that if you want to see more of the alien you check that out and we have a really awesome predator here and then we have a Voltron, and then we have a Yondo, which is the movie version. And we have a movie Drax on the end, but also a classic green screen Drax as well. All these figures come with the base plate you see underneath them. And let's see, he's got a uh, shorter version of Orokai Sword. She's got a mic, of course, no accessory. He's got the arm blades, which literally do plug in between the hand. Yeah, more closer on that later. Uh, Photon here has a Photon sword, no backpack thing because his big helmet again, uh, closer in a moment. He's got a really thick jacket, in fact way too thick. Uh, there's actually some kind of false leather on one side and furry on the other, so that's really cool. And uh, he's got these two giant daggers which are like the uh, orc glowy dagger, you see with like Lord Wing something, he's got the general uh, tiny daggers for the grey Drax. I probably should have said the Sands of Time dagger when they made those Lego sets. <laughs> so let's take a closer look at three of the figures here from this set. First as this Yondo, uh, he is a darker colour than the official Lego one, even though official Lego does have a movie version of him. He's also much more detailed, so I wonder who they copied this design of from, uh, you know, one of the online fans. And the reason I want to take a closer look at this one is because you can see just more detail on the coat itself. You see he's got arm printing, so that's nice. And uh, if we were to undress him... Ooh. Um, he has no printing whatsoever on the back of the head or body, so yeah, but here's a clearer look at this furry side and as you can see here, it's It's nice like I'm you know much better than regular pogo trash capes. They really suck But um, you see it doesn't really hinder articulation too much But the arms are pushed out just a little bit making it uh, making them easy to pop off But uh, yeah, this is a nice figure nicely detailed even without the jacket It's a pretty good alternative to the official Lego one if you do want something a little bit more complex. Moving into Zaya, because uh, let's take a look at this one here. Now this is a exact copy, just like uh, recently there were a lot of Kamen Rider figures copied from a Taiwanese uh, Lego customizer. And these are copied straight from them. So what they did was, apart from printing, they did custom molding for the sword, which they copied, you see here. Uh, this is made out of hard plastic, so this will snap if you're not too careful. Notice the really small end bits right there. And um, and it's also fully painted, Come on. just like the uh, original Taiwanese custom uh, brick people's sword. So that's nice, and it seems to be printed quite well, the sword. And then these hands there, these are custom molded with the little lion head, because this is Voltron. And they plug into the arm, just like regular minifigure hands. So he does not have regular minifigure hands, this figure. It's already the custom stuff, and that's been done quite well. So yeah, cool hands, and you see that they've uh, just got more light on him. They printed the legs, the body, the side of the legs, and on the back there, they've just colored it. Not, it's not design or anything, but it's colored. So the helmet itself is in two pieces, again, made out of hard plastic. So just pull that off, much like the more modern sort of Darth Vader figures. And that comes off quite easily, so you got the second piece there. He's got this, oh, <laughs> that arm fell off, bad clutch. Or was it the hand that pushed it? Uh, was, yeah, because of the square shape of the hands, you need to rotate them so they sit flat on the side of the body. So we move that and you can see more printing of the back of the body. And yep, this thing uh, just sort of... Can't pick it up. This piece just plugs in, this wing piece just plugs in on the back. And there's a little bit of detail on there. And, uh, ooh, it's only slightly bent. You know, do be careful with this. It uh, sticks in there, but... Um, 
to the rated plastic mold that is not exactly the most durable thing ever. It's quite thin, the material is regular plastic from the, like the rest of the figure, so it's quite easy to bend and snap, so you definitely need to be really careful with this. I probably recommend like gluing this down so it just doesn't remove from the backpack piece, but that's just me personally, because um, I mean that piece is never going to go anywhere else, so you might as well glue it down, I suppose. I haven't watched Voltron, if I am mistaken, let me know. Right, the Predator. This is pretty awesome. Yeah, really awesome figure. The helmet mask is really nice. I'm definitely going to have to get a few more of these. There's also the little hair, like, tentacle things coming out the back of his head there. They're more molded in, so that's nice. I'm not sure which uh, customizer that they copied here, but I've seen these before, so they're definitely copying someone's. So you can probably get a few of these, customize, paint them in a little bit and stuff, and they'll look pretty cool. Um, no predator head underneath though, unfortunately, that is a bit of a bum, it's just a black head right there. But still, I could definitely use these for my uh, Lego vs Aliens vs Predator animation that I did a while ago. Uh, and this head's really stiff, uh, bad clutch, ugh, phew. Right, so this backpack here, again, custom molded piece, and it has this gun there which uh, does use a regular sort of bar shape for the handle, so you can you just hold this up as a regular gun if you want to do that. And the molding on here, again, is also pretty excellent. And we got some arm net printing on here. Here's a clearer look at the rest of the body print. Cool. And here's a quick look at the back, and they've also uh, printed the... Uh, oops, focus. They've also printed the side of the torso and legs, so the printing on here is pretty excellent. And like I said, these claw pieces, they're made out of they're slightly flexible, and they go between the hand and the arm. So you, if you want to remove these, you pull the arm, the hand out, remove the claw, and then put the hand back in, and there you go. So the last few figures here, not really going to talk about the alien, but the custom head mold and the custom sort of neck piece mold is pretty good. And the legs are grievous legs, and the rest of it's just skeleton and uh, robot like droid arms, you see regular Lego figures, gets the job done, nothing too special there, the clutch still kind of sucks. Uh, Jason Voorhees here, I just feel like he's got like sunburn, he's all pink and stuff, uh, and yet the torso print is still flesh colored on around the neckline, not sure what's going on there, but the overall print is pretty good, and the mask has a metallic feel to it, and that mask strap that he has, I'm just going to get his alien out of the way, because whatever, uh, actually goes all the way around, and uh, it's very even. Like this black strap, it's printed very nicely. So yeah, <laughs> it's got. So that means also means it's got back printing. Uh, the s anime singer here, she's printed also pretty well. The uh, unfortunately the arm and the leg flesh areas are a bit too light in color, so because of the black plastic it makes it dark, doesn't look too good. The face is printed quite nicely. The hair is printed painted okay. Got a little um, rubber bands there for the hair ponytails, but I think they got a bit of smudge on here, so it's got a bit of extra black. She doesn't have a back face print, but she does have side leg prints. Unfortunately, no back leg prints, which would have really completed the look uh, and made this figure really awesome. But as of right now, it's just eh, it's okay. Finally, we have the two Drax figures, which are the exact same print design. In fact, the pants leg piece are completely identical, so you swap them around if you have a bad printed one, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, yeah, both of them are printed quite well. The green pants is not too good, but uh, interesting, they've managed to print the lower leg area, which is usually left out, even the official Lego doesn't print that area. Uh, you can see that there, the red doesn't go there, but they've printed the boot design, so that looks pretty nice. And since both of these figures are exactly the same, let's just take one of these, uh, you can see the side print on the arm, other arm, and on the back right there, also has a pretty good print. No back boot print design, but they did print the rest of the pants. Now, this one compared to the official Drax, uh, the official Drax is also quite detailed, but it is definitely a different design here. So, the grey one is an alternate figure, if you like, if you prefer this one, or the official one doesn't matter. And the green one is just nice to have because in the comics he was green, so it's just a classic look. The plastic quality on all these figures are pretty decent and consistent. The print quality is also very consistent on all of these. I don't have any misprints, so that's really awesome. And the overall clutch is okay, although the head slash neck joint does lean towards the tighter side, but it's not the end of the world, not too annoying. 
that's great. Of course, like I said, with the jacket and the squid square shaped hands for uh, Voltron, that does make the arm joints pop out a bit easier, but that's due to the shape and the extra material in between the arm and the torso. So I can understand that uh, le regular Lego probably would do with that a bit better, but it's you know it's still going to push against it a little bit. So I get it. It's nitpick. I'm not too like annoyed about that. It's understandable. And yeah, this set overall is a huge mess because these characters just come from everywhere. But all of them are pretty good. The worst one here that I don't like is the alien one because it just looks weird, looks out of place. Uh, like I mentioned in the Xenomorph pack review, I prefer just the regular minifigure version. But if you want a bigger version like this, you can always get the Mega Bloks one. If you're in the West, that should be should be too hard to get. Um, the highlight of this for me personally is the Predator. The helmet is a little bit bulky and the claws do like lean outwards a little bit too much. I kind of like how uh, the Assassin's Creed figure have managed to do the little hidden blade thing a bit better. But for what we got here, the Predator looks awesome. I like that they print all the way around the torso. And uh, if they do do a version 2, I hope they give an actual printed Predator face underneath. That would be really awesome. The Guys the Guys here figures here are nice but unnecessary for me personally. I'm quite happy with the regular Lego Drax or Yondo and um, I'll probably keep the green one just for the sake of having a comic book version of him. But the other ones I don't care too much. Voltron's done copied pretty well with all the custom parts, custom molding and the painted uh, all the way around the figure again. It's quite nice. Jason Voorhees, there has been other versions of him from Pogo and XNH and KLPF. So if you just search Jason Voorhees you know, on my YouTube channel, you'll find a bunch of them. All of them are decent, but this one's pretty good. I just don't get why they've given him pink plastic for his hands and head. And finally, the singer figure here is nice. Again, it's nice, I guess, but um, don't know what she's doing in this set. But if you like the singer, this is a good addition. And if you don't care for that, but still want some anime eyes, this is a good way to get it because the eyes, the face is actually printed quite nicely. So for this is a good set, a bit weird. If you can get any of these figures individually, just get the ones you want. But for me personally, I think the whole set is pretty nice overall. So you can just get the whole pack and you sh should be quite happy with it. Subscribe to Justin Comment below and of course take care, have a nice day. I will see you guys soon. Bye bye now.